it was a very eerie scene because you could hear police scanners, you could hear police, you could hear crying. There weren't all that many people around still inside the building. I soon found myself on the third floor and in a corridor full of policemen, plain clothes, uniformed, and there was a guard outside one particular classroom. I walked past the classroom and looked inside, just slowed down to a stop, and saw on the ground two bodies. One was the body of the killer, a rifle across his legs. The other was a young blonde woman who had um, a bulky black, white, and red sweater on. There was blood, of course. Uh, the police uh, took offense at me stopping to look, thinking I was just a gawker, and rushed me along the corridor. I turned around the corridor and sort of leaned against the wall to catch my breath and to take notes and just to get a moment of peace and quiet. And along came another person, a young guy, a student, and we're both standing there leaning against the wall talking about what we had seen. He told me that he had heard that the killer had separated the students, had gone into classrooms and told the men to get to one area and the women to get to another area. And neither of us could believe that because it would just be too horrible. So we're standing there chatting. Um, I'm taking notes. There's blood smears on the walls. There's another classroom where there's blood. We could hear the police scanners. They're still searching the building for more shooters. And we could hear footsteps coming down the hall toward us, so we both left that area. And I, I had to telephone into the office. There were no cell phones at that time, that I had anyway, uh, no Twitter. So I made my way down to the first floor, and I saw a lot of uh, ambulance attendants, so I got behind them and listened to what they had to say. And uh, two of them were comparing notes. They were saying, did, did you notice that all of the women, all of the victims were women? And uh, the other guy said, well, I treated someone, but he was just injured. But yeah, all the victims were women. It was, it was very chilling. Now I really had to find a phone. I found one down a back corridor on that ground floor level and was talking to my editor at the Gazette when a janitor came down the hall and he saw me, of course, and he immediately freaked out. What are you doing here? Are you crazy? Get out of here. Don't you know they're killing women? And I, I told him, you know, I'm a reporter just doing my job and uh, he, he would have none of it. He grabbed me by the arm, marched me to the front door, opened the door and sort of gently pushed me out. And that was it the, for that night.